Alrighty, well, good, uh, good morning everybody, and it's cast time once again, and um, let me go ahead and intro this real quick. Oh, I gotta, I gotta kill a window here. Okay. So where were we? Oh yeah. So, I'm, uh, this time around, I'm gonna be playing, uh, this is gonna be a drive through North Minneapolis. Um, I didn't grow up here, but I did grow up in Northeast Minneapolis, I mean, who knows? Maybe this guy will, maybe this guy will be driving through parts of Northeast Minneapolis I might be familiar with, but we'll see. So. Uh, but otherwise, um, for my usual pinball session, um, it, it actually went pretty good. So, uh, way better than yesterday. Um, FX3, I don't, I did it. I didn't beat any tournaments, but I was average, above average in most of them. I think um, maybe one or two of them I did pretty badly in, but again, for the most part, um, I was good overall. Um, and then, and then Pinball Arcade, it uh, it was it was starting to go bad. Things were taking a turn for the worse, but then um, I just remember that uh, I did something uh, back when I back when I streamed pinball a long time ago. I would do a thing called handicap pinball, where every table I play would be a uh, would be set to two player mode. Or if um if I was really struggling even in two player mode, I would set it to four player mode just so I could be on that table for a while. You know so. I mean, you know, if I wanted to, if I wanted to play a table for like only a minute, I'd have played Zachariah. So, so yeah, handicap pinballs was something was something that I would do, just to stay on that table for a while. So, but I've never seen lights do this before. They would all. Uh, they wouldn't just. Yeah, like it's doing now, it's going dark. And then coming back on again. And then starting to go dark again. Oh, now it's green. I don't... I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out the reasoning behind that. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. through neighborhoods and not just uh, main highways and stuff. Huh? Bit of a rolling stop there, buddy. Oh, I see. He was probably trying to trying to get the red light. Or green light, green light, I mean. So. Um, oh, and uh I did watch the rest of Dear Mr. Watterson yesterday. And um they did they did talk about uh they did talk about Bill's dislike for licensing his stuff. His, uh, his refusal to sell out, but for the most part, a lot of the stuff that they said on there wasn't uh, wasn't much different from from what you could read on his uh, 10th anniversary book. He go he goes into more detail on that. So, but yeah, but just glad glad they covered it. Cause like I said yesterday, I was about halfway into that documentary. And they hadn't mentioned it at all. So I was under the impression that they're just gonna go through the whole entire documentary and not ever not ever mention his uh his refusal to have his uh have his works uh licensed. You know. 
being made into stuffed animals and coffee mugs and condoms and all sorts of other stupid shit. Squish the squirrel there. <laughs> yeah. Well, none of the scenery here is ringing a bell. So, guess you'd have to keep going east. Um, but, uh, one other thing, too, is, uh, I guess, uh, in about a month, uh, Capcom Fighting Collection is gonna be available on Steam. It's already available on console, but I'm not a console gamer. I'm PC only. So, I gotta wait a month. But, um, even then, it's like a, it's like a $40 price tag. So, with me, it's debatable, because the only thing I really want out of that collection is, uh, Super Puzzle Fighter Turbo. Oh god, I played the fuck out of that game, like back in the 90s. Yeah, I played that a lot. And, um, kind of like, um, kind of like Time Killers back then. It was also one game that nobody else played. Like, um, uh, you know, crowds would be all, you know, crowds would be all lined up to play, like, Killer Instinct and Mortal Kombat and all that. I mean, they'd be lined up to play that, but not Super Puzzle Fighter. Oh, I had that sucker all to myself. So. But, so, like I said, I'm... It's kind of debatable on whether or not I'm gonna... I'm gonna plunk down the $40 when all I want is just... Just that. I think, um... I think Street Fighter 2 is gonna be in it. Um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Um... The fight, the... There's, like, one other super rare fighting game, like... Iced Earth, or Red Earth, or something like that. That's gonna be in there. Um... Can't remember, but... But, like I, like I said, the only reason I want... The only reason I'd get that would be just for Super Puzzle Fighter. So... It's... Probably gonna be something I'll... It's probably a decision I'll make it to... At the uh, spur of the moment. So, but if I if I do, chances are I might be breaking off a of pinball, or streaming pinball and playing some Super Puzzle Fighter instead. But we'll we'll see we'll see. Like I said, it's it's still a month out, so I'm gonna take another drink. Looks like my video is blinking too. Me up. Let me check something real quick. Oh, it's a 720. Still blinking. I'm really, really hoping that it's the video doing that and not my computer. And, um, another thing, too, that I, for I forgot to mention this yesterday, and, uh, I think maybe the day before as well, but, uh, there's, uh, I started watching another movie. Uh, Dawn of the Empire. It's actually a fan edit. Uh, what they did is they took um, they took all three of the of the Star Wars prequels, and they um, they condensed them down into one movie. But yeah, so so far I'm liking it. Um, one big huge reason 
Haha, <laughs> no Jar Jar. Yeah, I think he's, um... Yeah, I think he was completely cut out of this. Cut out of this edit, so I don't have to put up... I don't have to deal with him. It wasn't... It wasn't that I don't like Jar Jar as a character. It's just... What the fuck's he doing in here? I mean... You know... With the, with the kind of movie that Star Wars is... Last thing I need is comic relief. So, I, he just... He didn't have any place in there. So, but yeah... That, that was definitely one thing I liked about this uh, fan edit. But they just... um They just cut out a lot of the fluff. Um... A lot of the uh, a lot of the dialogue and stuff and blah 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 like uh like uh the, I think it was on the second movie I don't know the name of it but uh Anakin and the girl I can't remember her name Padme you know those conversations they're always having like out in the fields and stuff they cut all that down to one scene um they they cut out a whole bunch of other convo and stuff just stuff that really dropped really drop down the movies. I think uh, Qui-Gon Cain or Qui-Gon Chen or whatever his name is, I think he only had like a really super small part in it just during the battle with uh, Darth Maul and that was it. I don't, I don't recall me seeing him since. So they cut out, a, they, they cut 90% of him out. But yeah, I'm I'm not recognizing any of this. But like I said, I grew up in Northeast Minneapolis, and uh, he's in uh, North Minneapolis right now. I did, I had it in my head that he was probably gonna make his way over east. But uh, I'm gonna. That is one thing I do miss. That's one thing I do miss about these days. And about, um... I'm trying to think. Yeah, I... I'm trying to... I could probably think of maybe a small handful of buildings around where I live that are like this. You know, where... You work on the lower level and you live on the top level. But uh, yeah, I really miss these kind of buildings now. I think they're all but gone these days, especially out here in the suburbs where I live. I mean, you might see it you might see it downtown or something, but not in my neck of the woods. It was uh something I saw a lot of growing up growing up in northeast Minneapolis. A lot of buildings were like that. old church yeah I can't tell what kind of school that is well, I got some construction going on Oh well, um, but yeah, otherwise, um, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Uh, feels kind of abrupt, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so that'll do her. Um, but thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, so, which, which would be my last one for the week, so. I'm actually, I will Almost right on time on this one. Uh, 14 and a half minutes. Well, that's, how it, that's my ideal goal. Try to keep these uh, videos around 15 minutes. So, But otherwise, uh, thanks again for coming by, everybody. I uh, appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.